Harbour Air was our first large client as a company when we were two or three people in a small office. Over the course of the last few years, they've offset over 37,000 tonnes of emissions. That's equivalent to getting 6,500 cars off the road. Offsetters was the one that was most visible to us in the local community. Uh, James Tansy was somebody that I had been introduced to before and it was really important to us to have uh, the credibility behind an organization that when you know questions arise as they inevitably would about carbon offsets and, and, and how they work that we were able to refer uh, those questions to somebody very credible. So I sat down and had a coffee with Greg McDougall, the CEO of Harbour Air, and within a few moments he understood what it was we were trying to do and he was very enthusiastic about it and said this is just something that Harbour Air needs to lead on. When they made the presentation, you know, their passion for the initiative was one thing that, that really stood out for us. I guess we also sort of caught the, uh, the fever on it. We take a comprehensive approach to carbon management with our clients and what that means is we start by looking at the greenhouse gas emissions from across their operations and sometimes all the way down their supply chain. We help them understand where the greatest emissions occur in the production of their goods and services. And then we help them design strategies for reducing those emissions uh, and when they've reduced what they can reduce, at least in the early stages, we help them offset the balance with high quality carbon offsets. From there we move very quickly to implement the program. Within a few weeks we have the system in place for passengers. Then over the next few years worked on a number of really interesting initiatives with them. So during the Winter Games we worked with Harbour Air to put a decal on one of their seaplanes. It flew in and out of the harbour every day and got a huge amount of attention. The staff of this company is predominantly quite young and most of the younger people these days have a great concern for the environment. I think it's done uh, a lot for us to be able to not only retain good staff but attract good staff. Well it's nice because the environment is such a big issue that when you have a company like Harbour Air that does have such an obvious impact on the environment that they do have a program in place that offsets that impact. The achievement of being carbon neutral makes me feel proud to work for Harbour Air because reducing and offsetting our carbon footprint is one of the most important things we can do for the environment. You know, until we have uh, an environmentally sound method of transportation or an energy source that is renewable and clean, we can do something positive in the meantime, which is great. There are people that fly with us exclusively for the reason that we are carbon neutral. We've had a tremendous visibility out of the program and therefore increased certainly the awareness of the customer. Harbor Air was the first carbon neutral airline in North America. That's attracted a lot of attention and of course attention to our business is a good thing. We're very proud to be associated with a company that's willing to take that risk and step out from its peers and demonstrate to the aviation sector that this is a problem that can be solved.